Here are some more good copywriting tips. As you write your copy, give ideas, facts, and information that help the users make a purchase decision much easier. So you want to make sure that you're giving information that would help you as make a purchasing decision. So think about if you are in the market for the particular product that you're promoting, what kind of information, what kind of proof, what kind of things would you need to influence you to make a buying decision? You know, include facts that might trigger the emotion. So facts that might say, you know, 99% uh, of businesses fail. Um, you know, 50% uh, of of people that um, don't start dieting have a heart. You know, are, are at risk for heart disease. Things like that. Play in their emotions. You know, make people feel like, you know okay that's not gonna be be me I'm gonna be the one that succeeds online and so I need to buy this guide so I learn how to make money online or I need to lose weight so I don't have heart disease and so I can live longer and enjoy life longer think about the benefits and what it would take if you were buying that product to make that decision what would make you jump into an actual buying move for a particular product so think about what kind of information you would want to make um, in order to influence yourself to buy a product. A copywriter must also do the following in their copy. They must capture the attention. That's very key because if you cannot capture people's attention properly or you know in large scales or a high percentage of people's attention then you're not going to you know be effective. Your copywriting, it doesn't matter how great the sales letter is, if you don't initially grab their attention with the headline, they're just going to skip over the page because the average person will spend uh, literally seconds on a page, not minutes, but seconds on a page. And so you have seconds to grab their attention and draw them in to possibly reading the rest of the letter and making a decision. So it all starts with capturing their attention. The next thing is you want to engage the reader. So you want to, as you're going through, you know, ask questions um, that might they might be thinking. So you might do things like, well, I know you might be asking yourself why this system is the best, or you might be asking yourself, you know, how can you work from home so you don't have to, you know, stress about losing your job. You might you might ask, how can you still make money in a tough economy? Um, you know, engage the reader, engage them. Think about questions they might ask, just like in the what I mentioned above where you think about what information you would want if you're buying think about questions that you would write and engage the reader kinda almost be like in conversation with them where they're sitting there almost answering the question in their head you want to engage them because that's gonna keep them focused and a story will help you out best when you're doing copywriting people love stories and so if you're engaging people with the story you're gonna be in tremendous shape you want to also provoke emotion of some sort. So you want to, again, ask questions and do things that provoke some sort of emotion, some maybe some sort of pain, some sort of excitement, um, passion, whatever it is that would encourage them to grab their credit card and be ready to purchase what you have to offer. You want to provoke an emotional trigger for them. And you want to use that emotion to get the customer to make a decision to buy a product or even even opt into your list. That's a free thing. But you get them on your list, you might be able to sell them something in the future. But you want to get people to key in on their emotions of some sort. Here's some effective emotions to key in on. The sense of urgency. This is really big. You want the reader to react quickly so they feel they have to make a decision now instead of later and the reason this is important is because if you don't make people feel like they need to make a decision right now like this instance then then there's a good chance you're gonna leave them and if they leave that page the chances of them coming back are very slim even though they might like what you had you know they may have loved your copy that you may have done a good job capturing their attention and selling them on the product but the problem is is that if you do not make people react quickly enough and they don't feel like they have to you know like they don't feel that sense of urgency like maybe like the the product might be expired the special deal is going to go off that's a good one um, you know maybe the uh, you know the price the product will be off the market so they can't even buy it anymore uh, the price could be double the original price whatever the case might be you want to give them an urgency to buy now because what's going to happen is they will say okay I'll get back to this later and life happens they forget about it um, you know the email just sits there it just sits in their inbox forever they don't buy this product 
you're lucky if they do, you know, and maybe you get the money a long time down the road. Um, but most of the time, they're not even going to end up coming back to it. They might have intended to even come back to it. And so you could have done, done the best sales job possible. But if you didn't give them that emotion of losing, the potential of losing it, like that sense of urgency or the sense of maybe losing money if they wait, then you are actually hurting them. Um, I mean, you're actually hurting your chances, your sales chances. So you want to give them an urgency on top of, you know, the call to action. So you want to have some sort of plan so that, so that they feel an urgency to buy this. And it doesn't even have to be that the product price is going to go up. It's going. It could be something as simple as, if you don't buy this product now, then you are going to be struggling to earn a solid income online. If you don't buy this product now then you're going to be struggling at your weight loss if you don't buy this product now then you're going to be paying way too much for your uh, textbooks in college if you don't buy this ebook now you could be losing thousands of dollars every year when you do traveling if you don't buy this book now you could be losing you know money every single day uh, you know on on energy expenses so whatever it is you want to give them that urgency whether it's lost money lost time um, you know lost with things with family uh, it's it could lead to poor health I mean there's a lot of things you can do you know um, as far as price goes as far as creating an urgency for your product because if your product is really good and it's going to give them good solid information then it's better to have that information now instead of later and so give them that urgency because that's going to encourage a lot of people to make a buying decision quickly one good example of this is to look at late night inf infomercials for some examples of effective advertising and take notes of the words they use to get people to take action. See these late night infomercials, information uh, commercials that you see, they will spend literally thousands upon hundreds of thousands of dollars to run these advertisements and they run these advertisements consistently over and over and over on late night television and the reason that they can keep affording to do that is because their methods work people buy their products and that's something that you know there's something to be said about that so you need to see how they're marketing to people what kind of words are they using to get people to pick up the phone and take action or to get people to go to their websites and it's no different than if you're encouraging people to pick up the phone um, you know than if you are actually trying to get people to go ahead and dial you know go onto a website or just click a buy now button once they're already on your site so look at the words that they use look at the emotional hot buttons and triggers they're trying to get there and use that as kind of a guide watch those late night infomercials and take notes and then trans transform that stuff into your copy and make your copy more effective so it triggers that emotional sense of urgency which will really keep people in and get more sales for you many more sales for you because you do not want people to wait very long at all to get your particular products. Another sense of urgency is fe or, uh, fear that is another emotion that you want to key in on because the problem is is that with fear people are scared about losing something. There is a fear that they might you know lose a product. There's a fear that if they don't buy your product you know not only could they lose money if they don't buy it urgent enough or that could they be losing time precious time or that could they be missing out on key information you know if they don't buy it now but you want to make them scared about that situation you want to make them almost fearful that if I don't get this information now I could be in a tough financial situation down the road and so you want to play on the emotion of fear and you want to key in on that I should say um, so you want readers feel if they don't have the product or service you're offering then it would impact them in a negative way just like with urgency if they don't have it now it could hurt them same thing with fear if they don't have that now then it could hurt them you want the reader to feel that they would be at a disadvantage without the information that you are providing them. So you want them to feel again like they would be at a severe or a disadvantage without this information. So you want them, you know, not only do you want to be urgent about it, but you want them to be almost scared that if I don't read this guide on weight loss, I could be stuck in the same rut I'm in. If I don't read this guide on even bird watching, I could be spending way too much on my bird binoculars or I, I could be missing out on a certain portion of my hobby. You could, you know, if I if I don't get my golf game back, you know, I might, my friends might not want to golf with me or, or, you know, I might be laughed at on the golf course. Whatever it is, give people 
emotion. People react when they are scared. People react to a sense of urgency and they know it when you're trying to some more effective emotions to key in on include anticipation and excitement. This is really important. It goes kind of along with urgency and fear in that, you know, it's another emotional trigger for you to key in on. So you basically you want to motivate readers to look forward to what you have coming up next for them. You want the readers to feel as if the product that you are providing is going to be so great that they just can't wait to even receive it in their inbox. They can't wait to download the product. They can't wait to get it shipped to their house. You want to, to be able to build up that anticipation so much that they are just waiting for this product. You want them to be waiting for your next product to come out. You want to give them, you know, just basically have them so keyed up that they are ready to buy almost anything that you put out there. You want them to be excited and anticipating your product eagerly. When you get them excited, you have them sold. And that's very important. So, uh, and once you get them excited, you do, you want to make sure that you, you know, you get them excited, you get them interested in a product by, by playing on that emotion of fear and getting them to feel scared about losing out. You give them that sense of urgency and at that point they're excited and they're anticipating and they're ready to get your product or your service playing on the anticipation is great for membership web websites or for getting customers ready to purchase new products that you may be releasing soon to the public so um, you know so basically maybe you already have core groups of customers and you want to work some copy into email because remember we talked about copywriting plays a big role in email marketing and so you know you want to get customers ready to purchase new products so you go about and you know you give them a sense of excitement as to what kind of products what kind of content you're going to be releasing soon so playing on the anticipation is great also for membership sites because you want them to feel like if I quit subscribing to this membership site then I'm gonna miss out on this great content coming next month so you want to just keep playing in on the anticipation factor because you do not want people to feel like they're going to miss out on anything at all so you want to make sure that that you are um, you know playing on the anticipation because that can be great for getting people to stay longer in your membership sites and that's another form of copy is how you word the back end of your membership site how you word the emails for those in your membership site you want them to feel like they are going to be really hurting if they leave your membership site and so that's another area where copy can come into play you want to allow people to anticipate results in your copy you want to allow people to anticipate results as well so as you're writing your copy uh, you know no matter what the copy's for if it's even you know just for email marketing or for your website for your sales page you want to give them that anticipation that uh, to anticipate some sort of result like maybe anticipate working full-time from home maybe anticipate making an extra five hundred dollars a week maybe give them that anticipation maybe give them the anticipation of another um, you know maybe losing two pounds a month you know give them that that hope you know five pounds a week whatever it is uh, you know that's a, a healthy limit give them that anticipation you know for losing weight give them the anticipation for maybe having a better a more well-behaved kid kid give them the anticipation of of being seen as a better golfer or you know give them the anticipation of being happier as being a better golfer whatever it is allow people to anticipate the results in your copy so let them anticipate what your product what your service will do for them and you will be in excellent excellent shape so here's some more basic components of good copy your headline this is arguably the most important aspect of copywriting as it is your limited chance to draw the reader into your copy so they read and remember I talked about how important grabbing people's attention is and that is where your opportunity is it's with your headline it's so important you want to sell people into reading the rest of your copy you want to have copy that's so influential that they are so excited and that they actually feel like they will lose out on something if they do not read your headline give them you know something that would grab their attention whether it's solid numbers as far as earnings go whether it's uh, some particular claim and make sure it's a claim that you can back up you know whether it's a weight loss claim whether it's a feel better claim whatever it is play on their emotions uh, you know inside that headline give them benefits give them you know exact benefits 
not just um, you know facts, but give them benefits of your product in the headline so that they feel you know and be bold in your headline. Your headline should be clever, creative, short, catchy, spirited, and lasting. And that so that means you know your headline really needs to be something that you put some time into thinking about. I know a lot of great copywriters spend more time on their headline than they do on the entire copy. And you might be thinking that's nuts for just short little word, but that's because the headline is so important. And when I talk about headline, that could also translate into the subject line of an email because remember copywriting translates into email marketing as well. So your headline should be clever, creative, short, catchy, spirited. So you do not want a hugely long headline, but you know maybe a sentence or two that flows. You want it to be very creative so it stands out from the rest and you want it to be clever so it keys in on the right points and hits the right emotions at once and you want it to be spirited and even include like a bold statement you want to be positive maybe you know you want to change things up and be negative in your headline and so that will make people think like whoa I don't want this to happen to me you know make it something that's going to stick in their mind you know the statement that you make and be bold about it too if you have a financial state you know that you made a certain amount of money or you lost a certain amount of weight or maybe you're guaranteeing something in your copy you know you never want to be careful about guaranteeing exact earnings but maybe you can guarantee that um, you know the best best step-by-step -step system online free uh, make money online system guaranteed you know no money needed after this guaranteed whatever it is that you want to guarantee maybe be bold in your headline you should try to plan the emotions with your headline so keep in mind those three factors of you know fear anticipation excitement inside your headline and work to key in on those things as you create your headline because that's going to be huge for you and so you should try and plan the emotions with your headline next after the headline is the body and this is the main part of the sales page so this is it could be like the body of an article you know the core components of an article your body you would provide your detailed information on the product here so you provide the facts about your product you give people a story inside the body as to maybe it's a story that backs up you know your internet marketing journey maybe it backs up the the product you know whatever the case might be this is where you put in your body copy it goes right here include your stories and information that draws in the reader and hit your emotional hot buttons here so include some really core components here that really drive home and hit the emotional hot buttons with people so you want to include you know stories information that absolutely draws in the readers so that's very very important so you want to hit the emotional hot buttons you want to tell a story if at all possible so inside the body again I mentioned story storytelling goes a long way because that will stick with people and it's not saying you, you need to tell a fictitious story it can be a story about a true story about yourself maybe it's a story about how you know this system that you designed helped you lose weight or helped you feel better about yourself or maybe the system helped you get over panic attacks or maybe it helped you get back with your ex or maybe it helped you um, in a variety of ways but tell a story if at all possible within your copy if you don't have any interesting story to tell try to think up you know a scenario or something because people respond to stories include your stories and information that absolutely draws in the reader here and you want to make sure you're triggering those emotional keys the emotional key of fear urgency excitement anticipation you know, make sure you're keying in on all the emotional hot buttons here you want people to be ready to buy because this is your core part of your copy the body of a sales page should also include your sub headlines as well. So a sub headline are things that maybe stand out, you know, so as you're writing your sales letter, and we'll show you an example of that, but you as you're writing along, you would have bold sub headlines that stand out because a lot of times people don't read the entire copy from top to bottom, but they'll read headlines and key components. So after your headline, you know, is done, within the copy you have what's called little sub headlines that maybe you know break up different paragraphs and you want to write short paragraphs as well shorter paragraphs will do better because people don't feel like you know sitting there and trying to read a whole bunch of things people want to have short chunks of information that they can process and it's easier for them to read it's much easier on the eyes and you'll get people to stay longer because the longer they read your copy the more of a chance you have to engage the reader without within your copy 
and include testimonials as well. That's really important. Testimonials are a huge aspect of the body. And that's where people talk about, you know, maybe it's video testimonials or other testimonials where people talk about how great your content is, how great the information is that you are providing. So you want to include testimonials within your body. So here are some more aspects of good copy. You have the conclusion. And so after you have your headline and your body, the headline draws them in, the body does the sales part. Inside the conclusion part, this is where you close people out. And with your conclusion, you want to include a guarantee, if at all possible. So you want to include some sort of a guarantee, whether it's a 30-day money-back guarantee, a 60-day money-back guarantee, whatever it is, do what you can to make fee people feel as if, you know, if they were to give up your product, um, you know, if, if they were to buy your product and it did not work for them, you know, or they felt like the content wasn't good or whatever the case might be, help, you know, help them feel at ease and know that they can get a refund back because that's going to be huge for a lot of buyers. People want to know that they can get their money back and so it'll help. And you're, you're going to find that if you have good, solid content, even if, you know, you know people are not going to ref everybody's not going to refund you have your people that will always refund no matter what but you're going to find that you're going to build much better relationship with people if you can give them a guarantee of some sort you want to also include testimonials in your conclusion because this is the part where you give people you know that kind of that final call to action and so it's kind of the last things they see so maybe you know if right before you're going to the buy now button give them a few more credibility boosters a little social proof from some more testimonials so you also include some in your body but also maybe consider including some here so you have your guarantee you have your testimonial so they go through your whole sales page and all of a sudden they see wow 100 percent money back guarantee for 60 days that's great i can try this 60 days and you know get my money back you know, or, or they go through and go, wow, you know, look at what this person says. I feel a little better about this product. And it's at this part, the conclusion part, where you want people to feel better because that's when they're about ready to buy. You might consider adding in a bonus or build up the package value. So maybe it's not a bonus, but maybe you say, you know, for the next uh, 100 orders, I've decided to also include this component of my course that I wasn't going to include it so this is now packaged in with the entire course so maybe you include something else so now they get down to con the conclusion and they see 100% money back guarantee they see social proof from testimonials or screenshots that this works for you and then they also see an additional bonus or another value if they take action fast so that kind of builds on that sense of urgency also and you'll also recap the offer in this section as well. So you don't need to, you know, write as much as you did in the body, but maybe you just recap in bullet point form or numbered form everything that they're receiving with this product. So you go through and say, you know, you get this, 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 and this after you, you know, after you presented the bonus or the special offer. And so then at the end, they see all these things like, you know, they see a guarantee, they see testimonials, maybe there's a sense of urgency, they see extra, you know, products added in, you've recapped the offer well, so they see everything they're getting for such a low price. And this is really a great way to conclude the sales letter. And so it gives you an excellent chance to really sell people so in the next video what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna look at a sample sales letter and that sales letter is instant hover ads pro dot com so in the next video we're actually gonna pull up this site instant hover ads pro dot com and just like you see on your screen here and we're actually gonna go through and show you these different steps from a good sales letter